There we go then. So we'll give this a try. What we're going to do is we're going to try to build ourselves a uh, piston stop tool. So, first thing you need is you need a previously enjoyed spark plug. Uh, I want to try to get one that's uh, three quarter reach, uh, 14 millimeter thread. Uh, put that in your vise because we have to remove the ceramic to do that. The hard way to remove the ceramic is to do that and get a hammer and start beating the crap out of it and then using a screwdriver and trying to gouge out the middle or go from this end. That's all crap. What we're going to do is we're going to take it out the easy way. And the easy way is at the top of the metal part, it's rounded, cut that part off and the ceramic part can be convinced out very easily after that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be cutting through this. When you get through to the ceramic, it'll let you know because you'll see powdered ceramic coming out from your saw blade and the blade will start jumping quite a bit. And so will everything on your bench. Trying to do this in real time. So. Yeah, just bear with. like a madman. Really surprisingly thin metal that you have to cut through. A lot of fooling around on that vice to get all the sides in. an idiot. There it is. Right there. Just one little tab, I think. There we go. There's always a little ring underneath that little piece of sleeve. Now, she's still glued in there with some ceramic cement. But that's okay because it doesn't like too much pressure. So what you can do is put your vise Use it as an anvil with the jaws closed. Just give it a good shock. Oh, she wants to come out. So, yes, I did change the body because it's being a pain in the arse on that one. I don't want to spend all the time just beating the crap out of things with a hammer. So, after you shock it out, you'll end up with this casing. You really don't need that ring gasket. So, a bit of a pain in the bum, but you can twist it off when you get that far. The side electrode, that's a tough bugger. Get him off. Give her a few twists there with your favorite pair of pliers. And off she goes. It's a bit of a rough edge there. So what you'll do is you put the core back in your vise. You just take a file. A couple of pass 
is and she's dressed real nice and uh, oh, smooth as heck then what you do is you take an inch and a half quarter inch 20 socket head bolt or machine screw and that's going to fit in there all nice and dandy and the top is only just showing there what you can do is you can throw your nut on there and just reef that little bugger up hold that nut there with your with your finger with a pair of needle nose just to give her a grip just do her up nice and snug and there you go that's done take that ring off and, uh, and it's a done deal and uh, you got yourself a piston stop tool And just because this thing was being a booger to me, I'll go back to this one. Because, uh, yeah, it does want to come out. It wants to make me look like an idiot. So, we go this way up. So we'll take our pliers. We'll get that side electrode off. Because that'll be in our way anyhow. So what we'll do is we'll just give her a little bit of a smack in the head. There we go. And she came out. <laughs> she just wanted to make me look like an idiot before. And so, same with the other one. We just throw her in and put the, uh, the socket head in there, and uh, and then she'll be another uh, she'll be another piston stop tool. Cause you know, never have too many of them. You know, you give them away as uh, as uh, party favors or uh, as uh, giveaways at the rally, or just you know a nice treat for a friend. And uh, that's all.